In the May 2019 release of Adobe XD, we introduced components or reusable design elements that allow you to design faster and share with other team members as part of a design system. Components support a variety of overrides and resize seamlessly for various screen sizes, but can be a bit difficult to use when you're applying effects or reorganizing objects within the component group. In the latest release of Adobe XD, we're revisiting the component feature with a couple of improvements that overcome each of these areas. To begin with, let me show you what the behavior was like before XD22 when it comes to components. Let's say I wanted to convert this button that I have here on the left-hand side to a component. Now it's a button that has a rather large shadow behind the button. When I select the group of objects and convert it as a component, so I come to the right menu and I select Make Component, notice that the selection grew to encompass not only the button, but the shadow behind the button. This can make lining that button up with other objects a little hard to handle. The other issue that I mentioned had to do with the bounding box of a component. So let's say down here towards the bottom, I wanted to convert this to a component. I'll go ahead and use the keyboard command this time. So command on Mac or control on Windows and the letter K. I've now converted it to a component. And maybe I decide that after I've actually used the component for a while and placed many instances on my design canvas that I wanna change aspects of its design. I'm gonna go ahead and move this over to the side. And let's say I decided I wanted to select this arrow and move it to the left side of this button. I can double click to get inside the component, select that subgroup there, and just drag it off to the left-hand side. When I go to click off of the component, what happens is that the component didn't grow to encompass the change in that design. I'm gonna go ahead and save this file now, and let's switch over to XD22 so that I can show you the improvements. Okay, here's that same file, now open in the latest version of Adobe XD, XD22. Now, if you've created components in the past, there's an easy way to take advantage of the improvements that I've told you about. What you'll wanna do is come into any existing component that might have this bounding box issue, with the component selected, in the right menu we have a new option, and that's Fit Bounds to Content. When I select it, XD is going to automatically resize that bounding box appropriately. If I come now to the component that I have here towards the bottom, when I move that up so I can see it a bit better, I can select that object, and in the right menu, select Fit Bounds to Content. It grows the container to encompass that new element that moved off to the left-hand side. Now going forward, if you work with new objects, you shouldn't see this issue at all. So notice here on the right-hand side, I have an icon that I'd like to convert as a component. It has that pesky little shadow applied to it. When I come in and click on that group set and in the right menu, select Make Component, it's gonna automatically adjust to those bounds appropriately. Now this revised behavior to component bounds is based on feedback we receive from our community on user voice. We thank you for your feedback and encourage you to give the new improvements a try. If you have other feature requests, you can always add them to user voice by either creating a new request or voting for one that's already there.